Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Queen of heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. For he whom you merited to bear. Alleluia. Has risen as you said. Alleluia. Pray for us to God. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. Because the Lord is truly risen. Alleluia. Let us pray. O, o God, who by, by the resurrection of your Son, our, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ you made glad the whole world, grant, we beseech you, that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may attain the joys of eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. Together with our personal intentions, we also include the following. For the gift of life and birthday intentions of C.J. Karandang, Brazil Mabin, Grant Christian, Joaquin Nashon, and of Shane. Thanksgiving Mass for all the blessings received and for the gift of life and birthday intentions of Bruce offered by Belatinda's family. Thanksgiving to Lord Jesus and Mama Mary for all the graces and blessings received. Petition for world peace and salvation and conversion of sinners so committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary and Sacred Heart of Jesus. For the healing, recovery, and good health of Victoria Nov Novia Panis. For the intentions of Sean Francis, John Lester, Joseph, John Panis, and of Darwin Kate Miranda. For the eternal repose of the souls of John Cedric Impasses, Remrick J. Llanos, Philomena Romarate, Isidoro Romarate, Ignacio Merambel, Honorata, Dominga, Bonifacia, Mamerto Sr., Timoteo, Magdaleno Sr., Romualda, Leoncio, Domingo, and Erlinda. For the souls of Vicente Sr., Prudencia, Jeronimo Sr., Victoriana, Zacarias, Concepcion, Agnes, Maridi, Susana, Rolando, Felix, and all souls in purgatory, especially the forgotten ones and unborn babies. For the soul of Concepcion A. Talili on her death anniversary, offered by Dario, Jr., Dario Talili Jr., and for the eternal repose of the souls in purgatory. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. We are now in our second day of the Vina in honor of Our Lady Help of Christians. We offer in this Holy Mass our personal and community intentions through the intercession of our Blessed Mother. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins 
and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, almighty and merciful God, that we may in truth receive a share in the resurrection of Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The crowd in Philippi joined in the attack on Paul and Silas, and the, and the magistrates had them stripped and ordered them to be baited with rods. After inflicting many, blow, many blows on them, they threw them into prison and instructed the jailer to guard them securely. When he had received these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and secured their feet to a stake. About midnight, while Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, as the prisoners listened, there was suddenly such a severe earthquake that the foundations of the jail shook. All the doors flew open and the chains all of were pulled loose. When the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, thinking that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted, but Paul shouted out in a loud voice, Do no harm to yourself. We are all here. He asked for a light and rushed in, and trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you and your household will be saved. So they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to everyone in his house. He took them and at he took them, he took them in, and at that hour of the night and baited their wounds. Then he and all his family were baptized at once. He brought them up into his house and provided a meal. And with his household rejoiced at having come to faith in God. The word of the Lord. Speak to God. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand, hand saves me, o Lord. o Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Your, your right, right hand saves me, O Lord. Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, you have made great above all things, your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You, 
You built up strength within me. Your, Your right, right hand, hand helps me, me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Please all stand. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to the one who sent me, and not one of you asks me, Where are you going? But because I told you this, grief has filled your hearts. But I tell you the truth, it is better for you that I go. For if I do not go, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world in regard to sin and righteousness and condemnation. Sin, because they do not believe in me. Righteousness, because I am going to the Father and you will no longer see me. Condemnation, because the ruler of this world has been condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus, in today's Gospel, tells his apostles that he is about to leave them, saying that he is going to the one who sent him. But when he goes, he will send the advocate, the paraclete, to them. The apostles had been with our Lord for some time now, and with this announcement, they fall silent and feel sad. What will they do without Jesus, who would answer for them in the future, especially when they will be judged by the leaders of the people? Yet Jesus consoles his apostles by saying that he will send one to take his place, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will live in them, the Holy Spirit will enlighten their minds that they may know the truth and help them to answer their opponents, give them strength to promote the kingdom of God and fill them with courage when they face dangers and persecutions. Jesus did not actually leave them. He continues to be present with them through the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, days from now we shall be celebrating the feast of the ascension of our Lord into heaven. And as Jesus went back to the Father, he has left us the Advocate, the Paraclete, the Holy Spirit, to be with us today. Jesus is truly the Emmanuel, God with us, who never leaves us. He is present with us today through the Church, who continues its works of teaching healing, and leading everyone back to the Father. And all the more this time, we need the Holy Spirit to assure us that God is ever with us despite the many happenings around us, especially in our country and in the world over. We also ask the Advocate, the Paraclete, to continue guiding the Church and its leaders so that peoples will experience God once again and be consoled, strengthened, and empowered through the sacraments and its welcoming presence. We are on the second day of Novena in honor of Our Lady Help of Christians. Mary was filled with the Holy Spirit, and Mary's maternal presence in the Church is a powerful reminder that our Lord Jesus on the cross 
has entrusted us to her care. She continues to intercede for us to her son, as she did in the wedding feast at Cana. Let us ask her intercession that as she was filled with the Holy Spirit, we to become aware of the Holy Spirit's action in our lives. And in this Eucharistic celebration, our Lord is present with us. And as we receive him in Holy Communion, let us be thankful and grateful for his active presence in our lives, even today. And may we gain strength, hope, and inspiration as we face our activities, especially today. May God bless us all. Amen. Before ascending into heaven, Jesus promised us another helper, like himself, to be with us. Lord, send us your spirit. Lord, send us your spirit. That our pastors may totally dedicate their lives to the preaching of the gospel by their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, send, send us, us your, your spirit. spirit. That parents and teachers may become living examples of faith to those under their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send us your spirit. That we may give our best to do what is right and may God's word be a living power influencing our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send us your spirit that we may show compassion to the elderly, the lonely, and the sick. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send us your spirit, that the dead may find rest and new life in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send us your spirit. Father, giver of all gifts, grant us your spirit in abundance that we may live holy lives and work for the king coming of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
ist die Bar des Gips Red Bull Command. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us in the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when as once for the disciples, so now for us he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith.
when we Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Archbishop, and with Phil and Ruben, our auxiliary bishops, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire us in words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may raise up to a new hope. Remember, brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles and martyrs, with St. John Bosco, and with all the saints, we shall praise you and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual communion. O oh Jesus, I turn toward the holy tabernacle where you live hidden for love of me. I love you, O oh my God. I cannot receive you in holy communion. Come, nevertheless, and visit me with your grace. Come spiritually into my heart. Purify it. Sanctify it. Render it like unto your own. Amen.
is the cup of salvation and Christ Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Novena to Mary, help of Christians. Most holy and immaculate Virgin, help of Christians, we place ourselves under your motherly protection. Throughout the church story, they have helped Christians in times of trial, temptation, and danger. Time and time again, you have proven to be the refuge of sinners, the hope of the hopeless the consoler of the afflicted, and the comforter of the dying. We promise to be faithful disciples of Jesus Christ, your Son, to proclaim his good news of God's love for all people, and to work for peace and justice in our world. With faith in your intercession, we pray for the church, for our family and friends, for the poor and abandoned, and all the dying. Grant, Grant to Mary, help of Christians, the, the graces of which we stand in need. We, we, serve, we serve Jesus with fidelity and love until death. Help us and our loved ones to attain the boundless joy of being forever with our Father in heaven. Amen. Amen. Day two. O Holy Mother of goodness and mercy, with your visible aid, you have often delivered Christians from the attacks of the enemies. Defend my soul, I pray, from the souls of the devil and world and flesh, so that I may be victorious over the enemies of my soul. Amen. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Please remain seated. Good morning. We would like to thank our sponsors for our second, second day novena in honor of Mary, help of Christians. The Uy family, Mr. and Mrs. Laburada, and the Schoenstatt sisters. Let's give them a round of applause. Tomorrow, May 17, 2023, the sponsors for our third day of our novena are the following. The Revolusan family, Our Lady of Sorrow sisters, the Sherbas de Vergen de la Paz sisters. Thank you. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.